Okay, so I'll show you how to download some National Hydrography data set, or I'll call it NHD data. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is Google it. National Hydrography data set download. Um, and this is the site, nhd.usgs.gov slash data. We can even go to the regular site here. Get data. So you can get an overview of the data. You can get it by pre-stage subregion. Um, pre-stage sub-basin. So let's look at the basins. Go to high resolution. Go to shape files. We don't want a geodatabase. It only works with ArcMap. We're going to wait a minute while these come up. Now I'm going to show you something. So this is HU8 here. And you see how there are eight digits? These are eight digit hydrologic unit codes. The more digits, the smaller the basin. I think you're going to want something bigger than this, so I'm going to go back. Back again. Back again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to get data, and we'll go to subregions. Okay, high resolution, shape. Wait a sec for this to pop up. See how it says HU4? These are HUC 4s. They have four digits here. Now, if we go to list of N hydrologic unit codes, we can click on this. And we can look at this map here. And you can see you have these basins. So we're, the Columbia is going to be Basin 17. We can come down here, Basin 17, Pacific Northwest. And you can see we have these subregions, which have four digits and will correspond to these here. So you can come down, there's your subregion. And then here is your subbasin, the HUC 8. And so you can come down, you can see these different subregions, make notes of the ones you want, and then come back over here and download those. Okay? Um, we might be able to get the whole Unit 17. Let's see if we can do that. I'm actually going to come back to this tab. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back one more time. Okay, it's not what I thought it was. Sorry. Let's go back over here, get data. Watershed boundary data set. You can get them by state also. Let's see what we have here. Okay, now here we have HUC2. So we can click on the HUC2. Give it a minute. Shape file. And we can come down to 17. And you want the zip folder. Whenever you download, you want the zip folder. I'm not going to download it because you see how it has, it's pretty big, 344 megabytes, almost half a gigabyte. It's going to take half an hour to download. Um, I'll show you what I already have. It's just different data. But if I show it in my folder, it's here. It's the zip folder. If you right-click on it, there's the 7-zip. You can download this. It's a uh, I don't think it comes with Windows, but you might have WinZip, which you can also use to extract files. Then it will give you a folder um, with your files. Now, let me go to a folder that should have data I've already downloaded. Um, so here's some NHD data for Utah for the whole state. Okay, now you're seeing some things. You have area flow line. This should give you all the streams. Um, point, 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 water body, and then you have these HU2, HU4, 6, 8, 10, 12. These are your, these are your uh, sub-regions, these are your sub-basins, these are intermediate, these are smaller than sub-basins, and these are smaller watersheds. And so that'll give you a lot of different watershed data. Um, anyway, that's basically how to do it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.